Scout mistress tells of trampoline orgies with swinging vicar. <laughs> See page five. All oh, right, page five. Page five. George, I've just finished this little matter. Mildred, yeah. what are you done with page five? <laughs> I've just cut out an item, George. Something I thought we could both do together during the long winter evenings. Oh, no, no, not with my back. <laughs> George, how to make a patchwork quilt. Oh, that, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can I have a look at the other side, Mildred? Well, yes, of course you can, Vip. Why? <laughs> boing, boing! <laughs> oh, disgusting. Oh, I'd like to have a look at that patchwork quilt. Oh, yes. <laughs> Are you uh, going to sit around in your pyjamas all day, George? Why not, it's Sunday. Six days shalt thou labour, on the seventh thou shalt sit around in thy pyjamas. William Shakespeare. <laughs> You do not labour, George. You live on the dole. Haven't you any pride? No, well, I don't work. I'll get almost as much as I would if I did. I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> You're supposed to be the breadwinner, George. You couldn't win a current bun. Listen, Mildred. I'm your husband and I demand a bit of respect. <laughs> oh, well, it's worth a try. <laughs> I will respect you, George, the day you get a job. Will you? Well... Yeah, well, these days you need to be skilled, or semi-skilled, or unskilled. And then there's you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's not my fault if I'm caught in the poverty trampoline. Ah! <laughs> no, I mean the uh, uh, poverty trap. <laughs> nice patchwork quilt, that. Get dressed. <laughs> uh, I seem to have a bit of Batman's face here. So? So what is Batman doing in a painting by Canaletta? Fighting crime? <laughs> Perhaps my puzzles got mixed up. Yeah, possibly, yes. No, don't, don't do that, darling, either. Mustn't lift heavy weights. That's no way to talk about my Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> <laughs> and can we have the table clear, please? All right. Oh, look. Here's our in our rumble. <laughs> well, you must take things easy, darling. Don't spend so much time on your feet. Oh, my feet don't bother me. Out of sight. Out of mind. <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me. Oh, come in, Mildred. Oh, uh, oh, you're not in the middle of eating lunch or anything, are you? No, not yet. I've got something in the oven. <laughs> yes. um, I just popped in to give you this. It's a matinee coat for the little one. Oh. Oh, isn't it nice? <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> oh, it's just the right size, too. <laughs> lounge. Oh, Come on. Ooh. Excuse me, I've just got a fish Batman out of the Grand Canal. <laughs> Do sit down, Mildred. Oh, thank you, love. How are things? Oh, fine, fine. No. George still hasn't found a position to suit him. <laughs> well, it's not easy these days. No, yeah, well, of course his age is against him, you see, love, and his face and his manner and his... Oh, God. <laughs> all right, all right. 
Don't wear your finger out. <laughs> oh, hello, George. Oh, my God. <laughs> hello, I'm free, Ethel. We were passing. We've just been to pick up the rolls. Yeah, well, we've eaten already. <laughs> I was referring to the car. I'm afraid we've taken up several parking spaces. Yeah, well, I suppose you'd better come in. Look, don't go on about it, Ethel. You know they haven't got two Kruger Rands to rub together. <laughs> Mildred's not here. She's in next door. She spends most of her time around there nowadays. Mm, I'm not surprised. Can I hang up your coat, love? No, not yet. Ah, oh, our boss too. <laughs> Cocktail cabinet's open then, eh, George? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I told you you should have let me bring me home. Mm. That sounds like Mildred now. Oh, and loved her little... Oh, oh <laughs> Ethel! Oh, what a surprise! <laughs> we were passing. We've just been to pick Leave up... Leave it, the... Ethel. How are you then, Mildred? Oh, fine. It's lovely to see you. Drinks, George. What? Drinks. Well... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how it's done. Uh, what do you fancy, then? I'll have a tequila sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> I drank nothing else when I was in Barbados last month. Oh, yes. Well, it must have been very hot if you were wearing that thing. <laughs> You've noticed. Can I hang it up now, dear? Oh, not yet. It's sable. Oh, really? George had a paintbrush like that once. <laughs> Tequila, tequila. Uh, no, no, George, we're, we're out of it. Uh, well, you know, it is on order, but you know what the deliveries are like these days. Yeah, well, we've run out of everything else and all. <laughs> oh, don't worry, dear. If we get really thirsty, we've got some in the Ethel. rolls. <laughs> Listen, we really came round to invite you two to dinner next Friday. To see oh. the new house. Oh! Yes, we do owe you. And I thought I'd get it in before the start of the social season. <laughs> yes. right. uh, Friday, did you say Friday? Oh, I just have to look it up, dear. Now, let me see. Um, uh, uh, Friday. Oh, oh, it's a bit tricky, dear. Yes. No, never mind. I'll cancel a few things. <laughs> right, Friday it is. Oh, that's settled. <laughs> Well, you two fixed up your holidays this year yet? Uh, no, dear, no, not yet. No, we uh, we thought we would spend this year at home. You know, uh, we enjoy it. Well, you must do. You spent last year at home as well, didn't you? <laughs> and the year before. Now, listen, Ethel, you may not notice, but we cannot afford some of the things you can afford. Look, George, No, let me speak. Start. Our circumstances may be humble. Yes. <laughs> Money is not everything. I don't quite follow that, Humphrey. He means he's still on the dole. You haven't found a position that's suitable that then, George? Oh, yes, yes, he's had quite a few offers, but they, uh, they all involve work. Oh. <laughs> George, how would you like to come into the business with me? What? Oh. <laughs> well, there'd be no complaints. Am I to take that as some sort of compliment? It's delicious, Anne. Tristram, eat your spinach. You have not. It's hidden behind that roast potato. Well, there's more of it now than there was when I started. Well, um, put a lump of gravy on it, then you won't taste it. Oh, slip of the tongue. Please? Please. Please. <laughs> Mr. Writer says that spinach rots your socks. He what? Tristram, if you finish, go and clean your teeth. All right. I wish I could take them out like Mr. Roper can. <laughs> Teeth! <sighs> Speaking of Mr. Roper... I wasn't. He's having a hard time finding work. Well, he's unemployed, isn't he? Who's going to give a job to a person like that? <laughs> well, couldn't you find him something in your firm? <coughs> <coughs> now, I don't know what sort of job Humphrey has in mind for you, George. But I want you to take it. Oh, I know nothing about wholesale lawful. Well, you'll soon pick it up. Yeah, I wouldn't touch it with a barge bolt. <laughs> it's probably some sort of white collar position. I mean, they don't put tripe in their in trays. Yeah. Well, he didn't actually promise me a job. He just said he'd see what he could do. <laughs> Might all come to nothing. You are deliberately going to fail this interview, aren't you, George? No, I should just behave naturally. <laughs> well, that'll do it. <laughs> 
seat. Mr. Pottery won't be a few moments. Oh, right. Oh. Uh, what's, uh, what's he like to work for? The weather's so nice. Flowers and your birthday, box of chocolates. Sometimes he takes you out for a meal or to see a show. Oh, I look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> You're, uh, you're, his, uh, you're his secretary, are you? Well, I'm one of them. He's got another one that does the typing, the short end and the filing and that. <laughs> what do you do, then? I show people into the office. <laughs> do you want to come to tea? Oh, yeah, right, come. Send in Lord Muck. <laughs> <laughs> Dear sir or madam. Well, he sounds a weird one. <laughs> Acme Travel Agency, Mr and Mrs Pomfrey, first class to Jersey. Go on, right, jammy beggar. <laughs> Tripe and the European Economic Community. <laughs> oh, he's here, is he? Well, buzz through in five minutes with an urgent appointment, will you? <laughs> <laughs> morning, George. Uh, uh, yeah. Morning, morning, Humphrey. Cigar. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now, listen, I'll come straight to the point. This is a Pomfrey's pure black pudding. Now then, can you do that with it? <laughs> now, never mind. I've got 20 men in the packing department doing that all day long. Now, what I want is a worker. Oh, well, I'll go then. A sit down. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Listen, I'm only doing this because you're family. Now then, there is one other vacancy I can offer you. It's in the sorting department. You'll be separating liver, lights, kidneys, brains, hearts, <laughs> various intestines. Oh, my God. <clears throat> now, the thing is, Humphrey, I do very well on the social security, see? Well, I mean, I can't afford your fancy cars or even your luxury trips to, uh, you know, Jersey at the right? weekend. Uh, well, you and Ethel... I mean, you just got back from Barbados and now you're off to Jersey. Well, I mean, I can't afford that, of course. That was private, George. Uh, well, no doubt we heard all about it on Friday from Ethel. Uh, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> and, uh, as a matter of fact, I would uh, appreciate it if you didn't mention it either. Well, she must know she's going. Uh, no, she doesn't. <laughs> because she isn't. <laughs> if, you, if you must know, I am taking my secretary. Well, I mean, it's purely business, of course, you know, but, well, Ethel wouldn't believe it. Well, I don't see why not. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only I'd married you, George. <laughs> Tea. I made one for you too, Hump. All right. Oh, uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miss, uh, <coughs> Miss Cooper. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, ha, purely business, eh? Yeah, well... <laughs> yeah, well, I won't mention it on Friday, of course. <clears throat> Oh, that's a good lad. On one condition. <laughs> well, what happened? Uh, well, he withdrew his offer of a uh, job, Mildred. He what? Yeah, he changed his mind, said there was no vacancy. Uh, I, was, uh, I was bitterly disappointed. I see. <laughs> I shall have a few words to say to him on Friday. Yeah, that's right. You give him hell. Yes, I will. <laughs> oh, by the way, I, uh, I brought you back a little present. Filthy day. Oh, is it raining? No, I went for a quick stroll through the car wash. <laughs> mm, did you have a good day otherwise? Uh, rushed on our feet. I never want to see another semi debt 4B2 reset fitted kit again. Who'd be an estate agent? You're understaffed. Yes. Oh, no. 
<laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Don't start that again. You need staff and Mr. Roper needs a job. And he has no experience, no references, no qualifications, no charm, no personality. He's a scruffy dresser. He can't speak properly. He is lazy, shiftless, unpunctual, unemployable. <laughs> he scratches himself and picks his nose. <laughs> You don't like him, do you? I never said that. I can read between the lines. Is that your final word? Yes. Is it yours? No. Oh, dear. make them like that anymore, you know, Mildred. <laughs> You're right, George. Yeah. They don't... <laughs> they certainly don't. <laughs> that is a heap of old rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> trabajo y desde esas escaleras el día entero y la puerta y la lluvia sí uh, 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 Mrs. and Mr. Roper we are expected ah bueno come up please <laughs> please to undress you are <laughs> you could send your smash helmet <laughs> They have landed. <laughs> Oh, no, George, oh, right. lovely, lovely to see you. <laughs> and George, do sit. <laughs> Want a drink? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. I have a brown <laughs> ale. <laughs> and Mildred must have a tequila sunrise. Oh, lovely. Oh, right. Hello, yeah, sit down. Right, Thank coming up. Oh, uh, help yourself to the bits and pieces. Build up your strength for the walk to the dining room. <laughs> <laughs> now there's uh, smoked salmon and caviar. I'll have the blackberry jam. <laughs> that is caviar. Oh, uh, I see you've got a new chair. Well, it was new when Louis the Fourteenth bought it. <laughs> Humphrey likes one or two old things about the house. Yes. <laughs> well, well, none of us getting any younger, dear. Right, there we are then. Ooh. Tequila sunrise. Oh, look. Brown ale. Am <laughs> I freshen yours up, love? Uh, no, thanks. I think I'll go and change. But you've already changed. That was for afternoon tea. Now I'm going to change for dinner. Excuse me. <laughs> she could do with revolving doors on her wardrobe, that one. <laughs> George was ever so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> disappointed when you didn't offer him the job. Oh. Uh, yes, well, uh, <coughs> there was a reason for that. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him the reason, uh, Humphrey. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, you see, he's, uh, he's, um... Yes, I suppose he is. <laughs> right, that's settled then. Yeah, do you mind if I use your loo, Humphrey? Oh, yeah, I'll show you where it is. Right, this way. Now then. Down there, ninth on the left. <laughs> it's got this is it on the door. Right. <laughs> Humphrey! I just happened to be going through your jacket pockets looking for fluff. What are these? Ah, oh, 
first-class tickets and hotel accommodation for Jersey next uh, weekend. Yes. Uh, well, they can't be for us. You are going to attend the Offal Association Conference in Bootle next weekend. Yes, I am. Yes, you're quite right. And I wouldn't miss it. No. Uh, no, these are not for us, as you said. These are for, uh, for, um, for Mildred and George. A surprise. Then why has it got Mr and Mrs Pumphrey? Oh, is it? Oh, oh, he's a fool, that travel agent. Mm. Um, well, uh, because um, uh, I thought... Well, look, they haven't had a holiday for years, you know, and I thought, well, it's a charitable act from me. And you. Charity? From me to milk? Oh, I like it. Let's give them to a right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was thinking the poor dear's been looking tired and drawn lately, and she can't afford a decent holiday, so here. Ah, well. Jersey? Holiday for two, first class? Or make a nice change for you. Oh, no, 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 we couldn't possibly. All right, I'll give them back to the travel agent. <laughs> now, Mildred, you are not to be proud. If we weren't giving to you, we'd be giving to Oxfam. Yeah. <laughs> Jersey? <laughs> I've never been there. Come on, it's almost abroad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it must have cost you, all. Oh, well, I don't know, pounds and pounds. Hundred and bloody thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Still, it's worth it just to see your face. Oh, oh, and it's a lovely little island. We flew over it on our way to Barbados last night. Oh. <laughs> oh, uh... I see your toilet roll holder's got a new tune. Yeah. <laughs> George, look, 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 look. Oh, I've never seen him before in my life. <laughs> no, of course you haven't, George. <laughs> They're for you. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to Jersey with your secretary. <laughs> Mildred's going. Well, with your secretary, I thought you said... <laughs> I see. Excuse me. Uh, Humphrey, I would like a word. I thought there was purely business. You've got... <laughs> <laughs> Humphrey! Now listen to me, I can explain. <laughs> George! <laughs> That was the most embarrassing dinner party I've ever sat through, George. Yeah, lucky we had steak came in handy for his eye. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what's wrong with men. I mean, they're never satisfied. They're oversexed. Oh, well, it's the way we're made, Mildred. <laughs> <laughs> Not you, George. Your trouble is an overactive mouth. I mean, we could have been in Jersey next weekend. Well, you can't blame me. Oh, yes, I can. You're nearest. Oh, poor Ethel. Well, she'll do very well out this row. Next time she comes here, she'll be wearing two fur coats. <laughs> uh, George, you stay right there. I haven't finished with you yet. Uh, well, I didn't want to go to Jersey anyway, Moby. We'd have had to put you in kennels. <laughs> <laughs> George? It's Mr. Fourmile. Oh, blimey, that's all I need. <laughs> Good evening. Um, Anne has been nagging, um, has, um, has mentioned to me that you... Oh, sit down, love. Oh, thank you. That's it. Uh, that uh, you are looking for a job. Oh, he is. Yes, he is. Well, she would like to... I would like to offer him one. Well, it's got nothing to do with tripe and kidneys, is it? <laughs> no, no, it's in our advertising department. It's quite a heavy responsibility. You'll be taking a lot on your shoulders. He'll take it. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.